Hello and welcome to my Stamina Nightblade PvP build for the Deadlands patch. Sometimes I do like to play Nightblade, but I don't like the Invis Cloak Nightblade. So I made more like a brawler type of build for my Nightblade. I'm gonna show you what sets I used and how I achieve being able to face tank people and still have decent damage. Quick look into the character screen. I'm also Imperial on my Nightblade here. I have all points into uh, stamina. I'm using the Serpent Wanderers. I'm stage 3 Vampire for the Undeath passive, which is at the moment way too broken to not use. But if you don't really like it, uh, it's not necessary, but I would advise running it. Buff food is Ozorga Smoke Mirhonch, giving us max HP. Stamina and Magicka Recovery, also HP Recovery, but that's not really uh, what we are looking for, but Magicka Recovery for, because uh, we do have some Magicka skills to use. Um, our consumables, um, either you can run HP, Stamina and Physical Resist if you're fine with the Magicka Sustain that mostly is okay in, in duels. But open world, I would go for the normal tripods, giving you HP, Magicka, and Stamina. Um, uh, poison, I'm running double dot poisons here, but you can also go with either Drain Stamina or Escapist Poison, like I showed in other build videos. Um, armor sets. My monster set is Balog, I'm having it in heavy, impenetrable with the Prismatic Enchant. You can also run Bloodspawn for more tankiness if you want, but Personally, I, for me, I'm you know, I'm tanky enough, so I went with a more damage approach. Um, your ult is kind of cheap, but you will still get good amount of penetration in the weapon damage, so Balog is still good. And if you are in a situation where you actually need to kite a little bit more, you, you generate more ult, making it even stronger. Then on our back bar, I'm using a Powerful Assault. Usually I really like Clever Alchemist, but our ult is really cheap, so normally when our ult is up, our potion won't be up. So here I picked Powerful Assault. Also, if you're playing in a group, you will buff your group members with this. Um, just an overall good set, carries over to your front bar. Um, I'd like it more than Clever Alchemist here. So it's a sturdy shield, defending uh, maze two times jewelry and infused weapon damage and uh, the belt and well fitted with the prismatic enchant. Then I have one trainee and well fitted also with prismatic enchant and medium and my other five piece front bar set is here uh, Kuhn March of Cruelty. Nice debuffs, uh, you get HP, you get stem recovery and on front bar you get an additional armor and when you deal direct damage you, have a ch uh, you apply a random debuff, which is either Breach, Cowardice, Defy, Maim, or Vulnerability. And all those are actually really strong. Um, they last 18 seconds, and you can apply it every 8 seconds. So it's possible to have uh, a really high uptime on those debuffs. Uh, I, it's just one of the best sets at the moment you can get. Reinforced heavy chest, sturdy boots, and also sturdy legs. Everything prismatic enchant, uh, and front bar, it's a sharp and more with the weapon damage enchant. Uh, we have a mythic here, which is the new one, Ring of Magistry, giving us 100 weapon spell damage and 1,157 armor for every three piece we are wearing. So at the moment we get to um, 200 weapon spell damage and 2300 armor. Uh, this is really nice. A uh, quick explanation how it actually works for every three piece we have. When we are now on our back bar, we do have three pieces active of the powerful assault and three pieces active of Kumas' cruelty. Same goes for front bar, then we have uh, three pieces of Kumas' cruelty and still three pieces of powerful assault. So we get uh, yeah, 200 weapon damage and 2.3k armor, which is nice. Um, Malakat uh, works indeed, but crits on Nightblade are just really, really high, and um, you want to crit 
and get all the modifiers here. So uh, Magic 3 is the way to go. If you don't have it or you don't have the DLC, you can also go for Death Dealers, um, which is um, good as well. You get uh, more max resources. I think it's like 2.3k HP, stamina and Magicka. Also not bad. Uh, depending on you, I just like uh, Magic 3 more. It is stronger, but uh, Death Dealer is also not bad. Um, that's kind of about the armor sets, I suppose. Uh, going into the skills on front bow, we're using Surprise Attack of the Spammable, Executioner, then we have Relentless Focus um, for the bow proc, and also now it got changed, you now get. Uh, 60 weapon and spell damage, so when we have um, 5 stacks of it, we get 300 weapon damage, uh, that's, that's really nice. Uh, we have here Combo Hunter for the Major Savagery, and also some um, little bit of weapon damage. Also, um, we get Minor Berserk when we deal critical damage from an enemy's flank and usually on a night blade you want to flank your enemies because you will get um, more penetration against them and that's that's just nice um rally here for major brutality and minor endurance um i don't like forward momentum since you have another source of a snare removal if you want one so here ready for a burst here uh, in cap is our ult if you're in a group and you're fighting larger groups, uh, you can of course uh, swap it to Dawnbreaker, but um, then you can also just play Warden. Um, so here, Incap. Back by Rerunning Shade. Um, just really, really nice. If you want to kite in a tower, people chase you, you, you can just troll them by porting with your Shade and um, just outplay them with this. Then we have Leeching Strikes, just a sustained boost. Every uh, light attack restores stamina, and um, at the end we do get like a huge chunk of additional stamina, like uh, 4,200. And um, you can recast it, like let's say half of the duration you recast it, and you get like 2k stamina back. Then we have Mirage giving us uh, Major Evasion. Major Evasion and Heavy Armor is really strong. Heavy Armor already makes it tanky. And Major Evasion giving you 20% damage mitigation for all AoE attacks. On top of that, is um, you're just a rock. Like, that's really nice. And you also get Minor Resolve, giving you 3k more armor. So, um, but that's also our skill we can swap for Snare Removal. The other mob of Mirage gives you, I think, 4 seconds of snare removal, but no minor resolve. And if you want it, you can swap. But in that case, if you swap it here and you don't get the minor resolve, you can swap your armor set, uh, your monster set to Magma. Magma gives you minor resolve, which we at the moment get from skill, so it would be kind of wasted, and minor courage. So if you swap from Mirage, to the other morph for snare removal, you can get minor resolve and uh, minor courage for magma instead of blood spawn. Just how you like it. You also get shit tons of more region, magic, and stem recovery. Um, also nice. Up to you how you like it. Then uh, the usual uh, stamina healing, which is vigor, and then we have dark cloak. As I said, no invest cloak. I'm using dark cloak. Uh, the healing got buffed. The duration is only 5 seconds, but the um, healing you get for each tick just got increased a lot. And we do get minor protection on top of our already really high um, resist. Uh, defense of spell wall, uh, you can also go for soul siphon, giving you huge heal on, on cast. Also, your allies get a healing. Depending if you're solo, go for spell wall, or in group, spell wall, or siphon. Um, champion points, greens are just Gifted Rider, War Mount, Rationer, Steel's Blessing. Blues are here, Ironclad for the damage mitigation of thing, uh, of direct damage attack, 10%, really strong, must have. Uh, Focus Mending here to boost our overall healing from Dark Cloak and Vigor, everything is single target in that case, also Rally. 
Uh, so we want more healing here. Deadly aim, more single target attack. All of our skills are basically single target, so deadly aim buffs everything. And master at arms also buffs everything of our damage since um, everything is also direct attack. Pain's Refugee, we don't really have a purge, so uh, every negative effect will benefit us here in that case, giving us huge damage mitigation, so really strong here. Relentlessness, when we are stunned or feared, uh, major protection, uh, that's basically in the case you do get a dawn break or, or leave or whatever, and right then, when you get like dumped with an ultimate, you get major protection, so um, also really strong. Survival instincts when we have a status effect on us, and that's basically really, really often. So many Magicka DKs running around with the charge trait, applying burning to you like literally 100% up. So, survival instincts really strong in that case. And sustained by suffering for additional recovery 150 Magicka and stamina recovery. I don't really mention the health recovery since it's basically useless now in Cyrodiil, but um, it's, you still get it. Uh, yeah, that's kind of about the build. I will just show you the um, uh, the uh, stats really quick when we buff up. Um, Dark Cloak also activates our armor buff, this is major resolve. So uh, with Dark Cloak we already sit at 28k physical and spell resist. And when we cast Mirage on top we get minor resolve. So we sit at 31,000 uh, spell and physical resist. Minor, minor protection on top of that and also major evasion. So uh, that's really really tanky. Um, yeah. The recovery we get when we take a tricep potion is like close to 1300 magicka recovery and stem recovery is 2200. Uh, decent, enough sustain to uh, do everything. Weapon damage is close to 6k without continuous attack. We're gonna go to our really little boy here. As I said, relentless focus also gives us 300 weapon damage. So, um, we just gonna light attack a few times. It's the proc here now. Um, we proc a powerful assault. And we will light attack here. And we sit at 5955 weapon damage. Uh, that's without Barlock or continuous attack. So Barlock will give more. And also, uh, if you have Magma, you will of course get more like 6200, 6250 about. Um, penetration is 10k at the moment, it's usually a little bit lower since uh, the character screen shows 10k, like the 3k you get from a passive, which is this one here, increase your physical and spell penetration against enemies you are flanking by 3k, uh, somehow it always applies here on my character screen, so you have 10k here, and um, just more with Barlog. And also, uh, Q marchers will get, apply major breach. Um, maximum magic 15k back bar with shade. We are sitting oh, at uh, close to 35k HP with all points and stamina, so that's really nice. And uh, 26,700 stamina. Um, oh, that's kind of about the build. 6k weapon damage, 2.2k stamp recovery, 1200 magical recovery, huge uh, resist. That's how I play my nail blade. So enjoy the build. <laughs>